Okay, guys, so this is part two of beekeeping, episode, I believe, 16 of Feed the Beast for Beginners. I have this little setup going here. This is going to be the home of my bees. It's just a circle, wood. Took about two stacks of logs to make this. And I'm going to do a circle of apiaries, and I'll have all my stuff in the middle. I'll set these guys up eventually. But I'm going to show you guys the next uh, kind of bee. So after the common drones, which we looked at last episode, which you get from the forest and meadows, um, so the commons are like the first breed you get. And I looked in the inventory here, and the only bees that are in the inventory mod thing loader is uh, the bees that you can find in biomes. All the other bees that aren't here um, have to be bred, and the reason that they're not here, I believe, is because they all have like really specific traits and a lot, all, a bunch of like different traits, and there's so many different possibilities. So you need a, uh, you need like you can't have them in the inventory thing because there's just so many different kinds of bees. Like each, like if you get a breed of a common, there could be like a hundred different kind of common bees. Like they look the same, but they're different. They have different stats and stuff. So here's all the different combs. So I believe these are all the different kind of combs you can get from bred, like different breeds of bees. So this just shows how many different kinds of bees there are. And so after the commons, I just have some more guys going here. You get these valiant, or these cultivated, I mean, not valiant, cultivated bees. And I have a cultivated... So I was also looking at this water bee. So, oh, oh wait. I mixed a valiant here with a... I believe a forest drone, a valiant princess with a forest drone, just to try some new things. Um, and I'm getting these cocoa cones and sugar, so I'm getting cocoa beans if I put that in a centrifuge. But if you put this water queen in here, um, is it working? I put it in this one and it didn't work. But I guess it's working over here. That's interesting. We'll see if it actually goes down anymore. But yeah, so I have these cultivated guys going. There's a common... This is this common is mixed with a cultivated uh, drone. Like this one. It's a common princess cultivated drone. And these will hopefully eventually get us to the next breed. Which I don't know what it is yet. But we'll find out. And I'm also just going to be trying new kinds of mixes. I'm going to try to keep... Uh, doing the cultivated and stuff, but yeah, I'm going to start using some of these valiants, some rockies, oh, there's a common princess, nice, okay, common princess, we'll get that guy going, the valiant, or a cultivated, try a valiant, oh, it's a valiant queen already, uh, we'll mix a rocky with meadows over here, and these should all work. Yeah, let's go. I need some more frames, though. But let's go check the water one. Yeah. So this is what I, this is what happened last time. No flowers. And yes, there are flowers around it. It should be working if it's a normal bee. But the reason is because it's a water bee. So this bee in, in particular needs uh, lily pads around it. So I could just break this block, maybe this block too, get a few lily pads going and put a water there and then a lily pad on top. That would get it going. Um, I'll probably do that around some certain ones so I can get water breeze beating. Or water bees breeding. Is that what I said? Sounds weird. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wait for these common and cultivated guys to go. Uh, and we'll see what next... What's the next... Uh, oh, this valiant queen won't work for some reason. The rocky one's working fine. Oh, there's no flowers here. That's why. I guess the rocky one doesn't need flowers at all. Because it's like... Worked with one flower? Maybe. We'll see. We have more flowers. I want to get a variety going, even though they don't... It might not work, I don't know for sure. But it's nice to have different kinds. Everywhere. Get some of these over here. Get one of these. Some purple ones. Some orange ones everywhere. That's looking nice. 
and yeah, that's going now. So we're gonna wait here and see what next breed we get from the mix of these commons and these uh, cultivated bees. Are they done yet? No, that's the water. Okay, so yeah, from this valiant one, we're getting cocoa and sugar. Uh, a comet. Oh, not daytime. Okay, we'll wait for that. But look at this. This valiant's still going. So if we put this in the beelizer, oh, we don't. Oh, there it is. We would probably see that um, its trait it works during the nighttime. It will say nocturnal. Get some more frames going. Yeah, so the Valiant guys work during the night, and so do the Rockies. I don't think the Rockies even need any flowers, so these guys are pretty easy to use bees. Uh, we'll try some marble. Sure, why not? And now, as you saw earlier, uh, <laughs> these drones would stack, right? So I could have, like, 20 Meadows drones if I all went into a forest and got all of them from, like, the same forest. But the reason that they're not stacking anymore, like, none of these will stack... It's because they've I've already bred them and they like if I put it in here, say that's a common mix with a forest and it produces or a meadows I mean it will produce more meadows drones and they will all have different traits now and I kind of understand what traits they are because of my skills in my biology class but yeah anyways um, they won't stack anymore so. These chests are going to be pretty good, because I'll be getting a ton of bees. Um, I don't know if marshy... I don't think wintry will work at all. Let's try a modest... Like I can, I'm just going to try a bunch of different kinds of bees. But yeah, I'm going to go get some more frames, move some more things down here. And then I'll see you guys back in a second. So this modest won't work. Oh, that's just that. Maybe that will work. So this modest one won't work in this biome. I don't really care. I'm not going to move to a new biome for 1B. And this one will work, but it's during the day. So yeah, I'll see you guys back in a second here. Hey guys, I just want to show you a little bit about what I've done. I've installed this solar panel, advanced solar panel. <clears throat> um, it is powering an electric engine right below it. Which is powering these three machines. And it's working pretty well. Um, oh, I have an upgrade in here. I have bronze electron tubes. Here, I'm gonna, okay, actually, yeah. So, yeah, that's my electron, or my electric engine powering these three. Um, I might change this to just a solid wall so it doesn't look so weird. Just the door with these things in the way. But, yeah. That is that. Um, now I want to talk a bit about more bees. Um, so I've been breeding some more guys. So valiants are actually found um, when you break a beehive that you find with a scoop. You get one princess, one to two, two drones, um, one to two, or like zero to two um, combs, and then you have a chance of getting a valiant. So I've been using these valiants. And at this stage in beekeeping, uh, sorry, 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 um, but at this stage in beekeeping, you're going to want to start, I'm getting tons of, okay, I got dripping combs, uh, you're going to start want to start collecting just every single kind of bee you possibly can, I want to just try out these, uh, these dripping combs, see what I get from them, because this is a, a new, brand new comb, never seen this one, you go in there. See what we get. Anything special? Just honey drops. Oh, honey dew. Okay. I think this stuff is pretty good. Can we see what this is used for? So yeah, I, I also built some of these um, electron tubes. The recipe isn't here, but it's just um five of the ingot that you want, and then two redstone. Okay, so this honeydew is actually pretty good stuff. Uh, you can make blistering melons, which I'm probably not going to make. Blank templates. I don't know what those are. I'll look into those. But this stuff. Ambrosia. Um, wax capsules are just made of... Wait, we can probably check. Uses. 
recipe. So yeah, just three beeswax makes four of those. So I have beeswax from here. And then golden nuggets, was it? Or was it honey? Yeah. Oh, royal jelly. Okay. How do we get this stuff? I don't know. We'll find it eventually. But yeah, this makes ambrosia, which is actually, once you start producing royal jelly and uh, honey dew, or whatever, the, yeah, honey dew. I got some cocoa combs. Those could produce cocoa, I guess. But yeah. Uh, ambrosia, it's like a, a regen potion and a health. Like, it restores hunger and it gives you some regen. Like, 10 seconds or something. So, that's some pretty good food stuff. Um, at this point in your beekeeping... Ooh, frozen combs. You're just going to want to start breeding tons of different kinds of bees together. Because there are so many new uh, recipes. Because now, at this stage... Once you've started to collect the cultivated bees, um, they are pretty much the opening to the rest of all the other bees. So there's going to be a ton of different recipes now, a bunch of different mixes that will make better and better bees as you go along. So I'm just going to read a few of them off right now. Um, so yeah, let me just search some of that stuff. Wait, let me search some of this stuff. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys a few things you should start getting, like a few new bees you should start getting right away, and then I'll explain a few other bees. So the first bee you're going to want to make is actually combined with bees that you should have by now if you've followed along so far. It is made from a cultivated princess and a common drone. Do I have any cultivated princesses? Don't. Uh, some cultivated drones. But yeah, I'm gonna get a few cultivated princesses going here. Yeah, so I'll make. I'll start making some cultivated ones, make made by commons and meadows. I guess I can use that. Oh, but yeah. So let's look at what this first kind of bee is. Um, bees are put into branches. So a branch is like. Um, another stage of levels of bees. So this branch starts off with the cultivated and princess, cultivated princess and a common drone. That will make the diligent bee. So the diligent bee um, produces a sting stringy combs, which can make propolis. Propolis, propolis, I don't know how to spell that. Let's search it up. It's, um, this one. Yes, this one. So, can you see uses? So, you can actually make slime balls. Bituminous peat. Apiarist pipe. That's probably used for bees of some sort. I'll look into that. Letters. That looks pretty useless. So, yeah, let's see what these are used for. Okay. It's just used for fuel. Any other uses? What's the use for this pipe? Hold on, I'm going to check what this pipe is used for. Okay guys, so I've been doing some more breeding. Um, I've been getting the water bees going. Because I have this lily pad. And then I installed this cactus here. Uh, that's not for the water, but it's for some bees. Such as the... Um, let's see. I think... The... What's it called? Let me find it. Hmm... Okay, I can't find it. Oh, the modest. Yeah, the modest one requires sand. But it didn't work, I think, because it's on the wrong biome. But I might... There's sand right over there. Okay, I could just put it on that island right there. But I've been doing more breeding, collecting more bees. Like, I have tons of bees now. Um, this setup is going well. This solar panel, it just... It's working very great. Um... I'm going to start building more apiaries. I've gotten tons of stuff from all these combs. I'm getting tons of different combs. I'm going to put some storage chests. Oh, I got a seed oil can. Nice. Now I can start making some more... Uh... Okay, there we go. I can start making some more um, apiaries. But there's one thing I want to show you. I've just been like manually doing this. I'll set up an automated one eventually, but I don't really care about having it automated at this point. 
just do this. Um, so the first combination I'm going for is mixing the valiant or the cultivated cultivated princess with a common drone, and that produces a diligent. So this is the next species. I've gotten one drone. Um, let's look at some more. I believe so. The diligent is the first bee in the um, in the industrious branch, and the the diligent bee mixed with a um, a diligent princess mixed with a cultivated drone gives you an unwary bee, and then it on it an industrious bee is made by an unwary princess and a diligent drone. So I'm going to try to get up to the industrious bee. So th that's pretty much, it's an easy one. It just starts off with uh, the cultivated and the common. And then there's another one, the um, imperial bee. And that's also made from the cultivated princess and the common drone. So it's the exact same recipe as the uh, the diligent bee, but you just have a different chance, I guess. And then you can get a majestic bee made by a noble princess and a cultivated drone. And then you can get an imperial bee by um, combining a majestic princess and a noble drone. And that bee has an effect, and it has um, the beatific effect. And I don't know what it does, but I'll find out once I get that um, that bee. So let's just, um, hmm, I'm going to start doing these diligence. Actually, I need a cultivated princess first. But yeah, so that's what I've been doing. Um, keep on breeding. So yeah, I'm mixing the commons and the uh, cultivated now. And I'm going to try to get the maximum in those two uh, branches that I just talked about. Um, also I've been using, I've been cheating, I'm going to say it, I've been using set day in this cheat here, just so I can, you know, go faster, I don't really see how that's a big problem, like, I don't want to just wait here for 8 minutes or whatever, how long night time is, every time I want to keep on beating, or uh, breeding the bees, it just doesn't really make a difference, so, yeah, hate me if you want for cheating, but, I'm doing that. Um, get more of this stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna get some chests in here. Start storing my different combs, my different materials, you could say. <clears throat> and I think in this chest, I'm gonna start collecting bees. So I'm gonna. I'm pretty much showing what makes what. So now you can actually see this meadows drone. You can see what it produces and what it can mix with. I guess. Actually, I want to put a bee in the beelizer. I haven't really used much of the beelizer. So let's get this thing here. Beelizer. You can store your honey drops in here too. So let's put the diligent. Uh, short, slower, slow, flowers times two. So yeah, that's pretty bad. Because this is the first uh, generation of diligent bees. Let's put a bee that I've bred a few times. Let's put it cultivated in here. Okay, so shorter and shortest on the inactive side. Oh, it's fast on inactive for speed. Uh, that's okay. But yeah, still not many. Oh. So yeah, there. Uh, there's the purple bee you can see there on the left. So if you mix the cultivated with the, the common, you get the purple one. And if you mix it with the common also, you get the uh, that orange one, which is... It's called the Noble Bee. So yeah, I'm going to try to get both of these. Um, oh, there goes my bee. Okay, I'm going to try to get both of these uh, branches to the maximum level, and then I'll keep on doing updates when I get to the next level of bee. I might get one out of this bee, so we'll see what happens. Okay guys, so I, got a, I went around here and collected most of the bees from these apiaries. And I got this one, Noble Princess. Nice. So I believe if we combine the Noble Princess, hold on, hold on let me find it. Um, noble Princess and a Cultivated Drone. Okay. I think I have both of those. Yep. And then we'll keep on going on with these Cultivated and these 
commons to get more nobles and what was the other one? Plagon? Nobles and whatever the other one was, the purple ones. Might be in this chest actually. Yeah, there it is. Diligent. And what do I need to combine with that one? Diligent princess and cultivated drone. So I'll need more diligent because I only have a diligent drone, so I need a diligent princess. So let's go. Common? Sure, why not? That'll get me more diligence. Then we'll combine more of these. So yeah. We got the next tier. Um this noble, and hopefully we can keep on going up with this rank now. Okay guys, so <clears throat> the next um the next uh, branch of species I'm going to go into is this one. The Rocky Princess with the common drones. Um, and pretty much how the species go on. A few, yeah, okay, and I've also completed the apiaries. Um, I'm just going to do a bunch of these rocky ones with the common drones. Oh, ooh, I got two nobles in this one. That's really good. Uh, let me grab a cultivated and mix it with the noble. Oh wait, does that do anything? Wait, let me check. Uh, noble. Actually, first, the uh, this stone one I'm going into is stone bees are like really good. They can work at night. They're they can work uh, in all conditions pretty much during underground like anything. So, if you get a rocky princess and a common drone, you get a stone bee. Uh, and then if you mix stone princess with a rocky drone, you get a hardy bee. And if you combine the hardy princess with a stone drone, you'll get a resilient bee. So that's the highest level of that one. I'm going to go for that one. But then, um, the industrious. So I have a cultivated. Um, so I mix a diligent with a cultivated, and I get an unwary bee. Okay. So, I, do I have a diligent? No, I don't have a diligent. Mix a noble and a cultivated, and you get a dripping... Or, wait, a majestic. So, yeah. Noble and cultivated. That's what I'm going to do here. Noble princess. Cultivated drone. And then... Yeah, here's my other noble, so I'll get this noble going. Don't have a cultivated princess, though. So, I might save that one. But, yeah, I'm going to go for this rocky these rocky ones and see if I can get high level of those. Um, so yeah, let's make some more rocky ones. The commons. Um, looking for empty apiaries. I just like to have them all going at once or them all working. Okay, here's an empty one. Yeah, these ones are all stopped because it's night. But yeah, these rocky ones, they're all going. So that's pretty good. Um, I've got to do it, guys. There's no harm in doing that. Like, it's not it's not cheating. Making it daytime, it just makes it the process go faster. It doesn't even make it go faster, really. Cause it's not like speeding up how quickly the bees go. It's just me not having to wait for nighttime. So I don't, I don't really consider that cheating. But um, yeah, I'm going to keep on going with the beekeeping. I think that's going to be the end of this episode. Um, I'll go into more species maybe eventually if I keep on getting a ton of species. And then I'll definitely have some episodes dedicated to um, automating your bee farms. But that's going to be the end of this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Hope you try out bees still. Um, keep on going if you have started bees. And yeah, so thanks for watching. See you guys later.